Jargell and Gio Delacera versus King Tonga and Abdul the Butcher with their manager, the one and only Hugo Savinovich. A lot of years back. These are the classics, Hugo Savinovich. These are why they're called the classics. What about this martial art experts? Abdul the Butcher, King Tonga. Well, Boy, you're talking you, about an awesome, you awesome combination. Looking boys, didn't you? Let me tell you, with these two guys, I had fear of no tag team in professional wrestling. Yeah, you take a look across the ring. You got a good, you got a good tag team over there. You take a look at Pierre Martel, one of the most popular men ever to hit Puerto Rico. And by the way, the Martels were the Martels were very famous, very famous all over, here. especially in the Caribbean and Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Canada, and now in New York. And also, you have Gino De La Sera. A up and young coming wrestler out of Montreal, Canada, and just a fantastic talent. And here they go in, like you say, in the ring with Pierre Martel. Pierre Martel doesn't ask for no quarter and doesn't give none either, you know. Look at King Tonga. You know, at the time when I saw Tonga, I knew then that he was destined to be a great superstar. And like I said, you right now you have the opportunity to see back then what Kid Tonga was all about. He's so fast, so agile, and he's just a, he's just a good professional wrestler. And there you see Pierre Martel, three beautiful moves in a row by Pierre Martel. Abdul the Butcher, he's trying to get his nose in the ring. Tonga close to 300 pounds, Abdullah close to 500 oh, right pounds. There. Tag, get that fresh man in the ring. There's Gino Del Cerro, good little wrestler too. Yeah, come, coming from a great wrestling family. But to deal with the lines of King Tonga and Abdullah, it takes more than just wrestling holes. That's right, you gotta be a little bit of a street fighter. I know you're over there on that side of the ring, just uh, weighing things. See Can you see the, the, the glitter on part of my face? You know, the road warriors, all these wrestlers came about with the paint and all that, but uh, you were an original, yes. Hugo. I admit that. I was down here with you, and, and you were an original. And right there, Abdul the Butcher. Now, this poor, this poor kid, De La Serra, now is in bad shape. He's in the wrong corner, and he's got two of the most vicious men in professional wrestling beating on him. Gino De La Serra getting hit hard by Abdul the Butcher. And uh, the advantage in the case of Abdul and Tonga being that Abdullah with that weight could move so fast and Tonga being so big and so fast they don't get tired that's right they're just they, they just and they maul people yeah. they, they're so big they can just they get out there and they just take their physical presence and just degrade them and beat them and and they take the fighting spirit out of the man so they my, do my problem was holding them back that was my problem I imagine you had to hold them back to wait for the big days as you? a matter of fact let me tell you something right now it is hard to hold Abdullah back or King Tonga. Oh, King yeah. Tonga doing his thing in the WWF right now and Abdullah, he's all over the World Wrestling Council destroying TV studios and wrestlers. Oh, that's right. Abdullah Butcher still one of the biggest names in professional wrestling. King Tonga, as everybody knows, is a, is a big name in professional wrestling and Pierre Martel, we might mention is a big name in professional wrestling. Most of the people you see wrestling in the World Wrestling Council are or have been big, great big names in professional wrestling Gina de la Serra he doesn't know where he's standing right now no, right there he just got he's hit with a drop kick by a 300 pound man and Abdul the butcher sitting there head buttoning so I, think the, I think the best thing this kid can do is just try to go there and tag Pierre Martel get that experienced man in there tag or just pack his bags and go <laughs> that not it there's Abdul thrust the throat here's a classic Abdul here's a classic Abdul look at that clothesline wow whoa boy that's a big arm, brother. That's a big arm. Watch the big Abdullah. Oh, moving in so fast, all over De La Serra. Oh, Here comes look the out! Big elbow. Oh, that's it. And that's it's all over. One, two, three. Excuse and as you see, me, but it's all over. A victory for King Tonga and Abdullah the Butcher. Wow, tremendous action! Let's take you, fans. To the Fucked up, I'm black and blue, I'm built for